All right, testing. <clears throat> All right, looks like we're good. Yep, we're good. Okay. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're going to play some more New World tonight. I really enjoyed it last night, and I want to play some more. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're only level 11. And let's see... I'm still getting a feel for this game, um, what it's all about, uh, how it works, all those kind of things. So we're still learning, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Is it going to connect? Hello? Uh-oh. Don't crash. Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought it was going to crash there for a second. Different fish can be found in salt water versus fresh water. If you collect it, it means it's, it is fresh water. Oh, if you can collect it. Okay. That's interesting. All right. Um, so I think all we really do... Let's see. It's interesting to look at everybody's armor in this game. I'm finding it really fascinating because it's all so fucking different. Well, these ones aren't really. These ones all look kind of similar. Never mind. Okay. But there are some that I've seen that are incredibly different. There's my honey. I mean, my honeycombs. I wasn't calling you my mm -hmm. honey. That would be <laughs> absurd. That would be absurd. Yes, this is fantastic. I'm going to whip us up some honey cakes right away. Oh, those actually sound really good. Honey cakes sound really good. Uh, also, let me know if the volume isn't good. good. Turn with my devil's honey. I'm thinking I might have another favor to ask. Okay, of course she does. Got the time. Depends on the favor. Seeing as how everyone is talking about battening down the hatches here to protect against the lost, I think we need to stock up on spirits. I agree with you. <laughs> I think I might know a spot to get our hands on some perfectly aged wine. That would be like my second thought. If we had to like batten down the hatches, it'd be first it'd be food, then it'd be booze. Where would the wine be? Best said sure. Grab as many jars of wine as you can find there. Okay. We'll celebrate a little while we still have the time. Who knows what'll happen tomorrow? Hell yeah. Amen. I like this. Okay. Um those are the same. Oh, okay, so green uncommon has some extra attributes, plus strength, plus constitution, I see. Okay, so we'll do that. So I think I'm gonna go around the town and just get all the quests I can. They seem to usually like be in the same areas as each other, so it just makes sense to try and get them all uh, at once. Oh, it's a dog. Oh, look at the dog. I can pet him. Wait, that's petting? Oh, there we go. Aw, that's a bull mastiff. I love bull mastiffs. Aw, look at him. He's so happy. How do I stop? Okay. The Syndicate's Charter. Reach exceeding. All worlds are bound by certain natural laws. A scientist's job is to know them. Thanks to Newton, we now know that the small echoes the large. The song of the spheres is the same tune as a falling apple. With the microscope came knowledge of invisible life. Too small to see, yet all around us. These discoveries didn't change the world because they have always been true, but they changed us, humankind. We have grown. Knowledge is transformative, creation's most powerful force. There is much we still don't know about Aeternum. Why don't people die? What animates the lost? Who were the ancients? We must ask questions to find answers. We have just scratched the surface of the secret depths this place holds. It must be studied and understood regardless of the cost, and once we understand, we can f we can start to improve it. All rational beings are welcome in the Syndicate. Join us. That's interesting. Okay, so this is one of the three factions. I'm starting to pick up that I think this game takes place in our universe, um, but separated uh, onto this island of, like, magic and stuff, it seems like. All right, let's go pick up this quest really quick. Look at his afro. Why do you get... How do you get big swords like that? Everyone's got these giant swords. This guy looks like a chicken. 
<laughs> All right. Oh yeah, this is the night regent lady. Glad to see you return safely. Not long after you departed, I finally heard the news. Tell me. What news? Is it as bad as they say? Should oh yeah, the mine. The I forgot about the mine. Out. Oh yeah, they all turned into lost. We rescued a few, but most are lost. Yeah. I can't tell you how disappointed I, I am to hear that. I have failed in my duty to protect the people of Pridewell. The mm -hmm. warnings were there, and I allowed them to be ignored. Oh, she's gonna give me a little satchel. Nice. I don't know what that does. And I got upgrades too. Forward, I will take every precaution to ensure the people of Pridewell are safe inside and outside these walls. We will start by discovering how this disaster at the mine began. Surely someone saw something. Oh yeah, there was a tablet. That's right. So there was a mysterious tablet. I have fragments. A mysterious tablet in the mines? These fragments appear to be ancient in origin. Ooh. I'm no expert, but I will consult the What's the up, sage, Young Geezer. In the meantime, How's it going? I need to know how the mine fell without my knowledge. Wait, is his name Young Geezer? Young Geyser? I need to know how the mine fell without my knowledge. The foreman sent several missives. Really? She said that? There's only one conceivable explanation for me not receiving the missives. Minister Lochner must have been keeping such reports from reaching my desk. Weird sleep but otherwise chill. Yeah, uh... Well, that's good. At least it's otherwise chill. I hate those nights where you can't really sleep. And you get, like, it's just weird. On and off, waking up, falling asleep, waking up. Those are the worst. Why would you do that? That's a very good question. Perhaps it slipped his mind with all the preparations for us to go in. I should no. allow him to not likely. at this point. Would you mind seeking him out? Then perhaps we'll all talk. Okay. Let's go do that really quick. So we need to get Sir Gawain. Or no, not Sir Gawain. Sir Gawain is the true heir. We need to talk to uh, the minister dude. Which he, oh yeah, he's in here. Okay, let's do this one really quick since this one takes place in town. We'll just get this one knocked out. It's the closest. Where is he? Wait, what is this? Need help now. Alia's missives. Minister Lochnir, why aren't you responding to my missives? We're being overrun by the lost. My miners are not equipped enough to fight all of them off. We need help immediately or we will lose the mines. Send every knight available and hasten the mines. Okay. So she did send the missives, so that means that this uh, minister dude was definitely hiding them. Territory planning board? What is this? Monarch's Bluffs, two out of 39 upgrades? Upgrade fort, project active. Is it? Are these like things that all players can contribute to or something? Does this have to do with PVP maybe? Hmm. I have no idea what this is. Maybe one day we'll figure it out, but not today. All right, let's just yeah, let's just keep doing this down. Go down this path that we're on right now. It's simple. It's in town. What is this circle? How do I dance? <laughs> Look at this stupid dance I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Can I play music? How do I play music? Drum. I guess I can't. Uh, music. Nope, I don't think I can. Oh, I can give him tips? How do I give him a tip? How do I do that? Uh, I don't know. Also, she, wait, she gave me this satchel. What do I do with it? Equip this handsome leather bag to increase your carrying capacity. Ooh, okay, I see. Alright, so this dude's probably bad. Brave newcomer returns. I understand the Night Regent dispatched you to the mines. A lot to ask of a guest, but it's her prerogative. Uh -huh. Do tell, though. I hope the situation there wasn't as dire as it sounded. It was, and there were several missives. Oh, yes, I am well aware. 
I received those missives myself. And you did the nothing? The wanted us to send all our knights to help defend the mines, but that was, of course, impossible. Why was it impossible? With all the preparations for the return of the true heir, we simply can't dispatch our knights everywhere they're hmm. I was preparing to send a few knights, but then I was told that you had been given the task. Uh-huh. Sure. The knight regent wants to discuss this. Oh, by all means, tell her I will come as soon as I finish my vital work on behalf of the true heir. Okay. Which was proceeding apace before I was interrupted. Tell her it won't be long. And thank you. So he's essentially Sounds saying, good. fuck you. She's not the real heir. I'm going to do what I want. Yeah. Okay. So he's kind of a prick. Um. All right. So we need to go report back to her, I guess. Let me. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. Before I pick up too many quests and get overwhelmed, let's just focus on this one and get this one done. Oh, you can crawl. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Oh, no, it didn't work. I thought I could go flying down the stairs, but it just keeps me in the same spot. That's funny. I don't know. You could do that. What other buttons? Reach level 25 and complete my kingdom for a horse. Okay, so you can't... It sounds like you can't get a mount until level 25. I'm level what? Like 11? We got a ways to go. We return. Without Minister Lochner. I assume he claimed he was too busy with his preparations. Mm -hmm, Perhaps mm -hmm. it's just as well. As Knight Regent, it may be best if I handle matters personally going forward. I kind of agree with you. Don't rely on that dude. He seems kind of sketchy. While you were away, Foreman Musa visited and related the whole story from the mines. She says the day after the mysterious tablet appeared, lost pirates attacked the mines, seemingly out of nowhere. Yes, I fought them myself. Wait, were those pirates? They seemed more like zombies. These pirates could only have come from the Beseth shore to the north. There was a den of brigands there, and now they are apparently Look how uncomfortably lost. close we're standing. an alarming trend, and we must find the source of it. I can investigate the pirates. I have already dispatched Sir Payne to the north, which is my duty as Knight Regent. Okay. Lockner will not be pleased, but perhaps he will not deign to pay me a visit. Ah, there you go. I can go to join Sir Payne. You are eager and courageous, and it is most welcome. My hope is that you and Sir Payne can deter the pirates from further incursions and discover what drives them. May fortune go with you okay. both. Ooh. Ooh. We'll finally get some armor. Okay, is this like heavy? Yeah, it's heavy chest wear. I'm thinking we'll go for like a heavy armor. Uh, mm, maybe we'll go for like a DPS build. I tend to prefer DPS. I don't like the um, responsibility of being a tank or a healer. Okay, so that one's really far away. So let's go ahead and get, pick up the rest of these quests that are in town really quickly. And then we'll go out and explore and, and complete some of these. Uh, okay, wrong place. Yeah, I need some badass armor stat. Ooh, look at this guy. He's only level 12. How did he get this stuff? I'm guessing they either have other characters that unlocked it and they can use it on multiple characters or they bought it from the store. That would be my guess. Uh, this guy's the transmog guy, that's right. Ida Koning. Oh dear, he's not with you. That can only mean... Oh Blast, don't shit. I, told him to stay with me I went and looked for this woman's husband. No, he had to go to the mines and peek at another rock. Yeah, he died. Her husband's dead. I'm sorry too. There will never be another Eddie. Oh, she got over this quick. I remember the first time he handed me his coat in the rain. Our first... Edingrove influence Thank race starts now. I don't know what that is. Even if it wasn't what I expected. Okay, she doesn't seem too upset about it. 
Let me check out this coat she gave me. Um, okay. It's the same as what I have. Wait, no, it gives me plus two dexterity. I'm not really focusing on dexterity, but I guess we can wear it. It can't hurt, right? Mm. Oh, I have upgrades available. That's right. Uh, let's put it all into strength. Why not? <laughs> we'll just we'll just be simple-minded about this. Corrupted invasion. Invasion will occur at Cutlass Keys. Okay, I don't know what that means. I guess there's like a community event or something, a world event. All right, let's go grab this quest really quick. Kamal Kadir. Oh, wait. No, I don't know this guy. 8, 9, 10. The miners. Oh, no, yeah, I got him the miners' picks. That's right. All accounted for and in good condition. This will be a big aid to building our defenses. So, this is. It's weird. This is the only guy who's not voice acted. I think he just. It must be. A, he, they missed him or something. How can I thank you for this? It was nothing really. My friendship oh, there he goes. And my time. Now he's talking. And an odd job, if you ever have need of one. We are always on the lookout for honest, hardworking people. That's me. You strike me as being one. Okay. Who gives me new gloves? Complete. Let me give you a tip, Rajal Sadak. Why is he calling me no that? Cares where you came from. That's not my name. About what you can do. The regent made me her master builder after she saw my work. Though that is a comically large hammer for a builder. Though she probably gets that now. Why would you say that? Well, I've run into some supply troubles. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a shipment of stone, timber, and leather this week. Okay. Nothing's turned up yet. I fear the poor souls I found to help me may have turned into the lost. Okay. This is the story everybody's going to give me. Seems like everybody in town has people turning into the lost. Okay. I can procure your resources. Oh, would you? That it be most excellent. You need to cut trees to gather wood and crush rocks to extract stone. I can do all that. There's a lot to teach you. Up to the test. Hopefully this isn't like a tutorial quest or something. It just lets me go out and do it because I can probably figure it out on my own. Mm, anything else in town I need to grab? No, it doesn't look like it. Go to Brideside Shore or Bryside Shore and equip the flint mining pick. Okay, wait, no, hold on. God, I keep hitting the wrong button. Flint mining pick. Okay. Do I need to talk to him again now? No. Uh, okay, which quest is closest? Probably number three. Zero out of 40 gathered stone. Okay. We're going to have to do this one slowly. I'm not going to try and get this all done at once. So we got to grab, we got to gather 40 stones. That's going to take a minute, it sounds like. Can I mine this? All right, how many do we get? How many does he give us for one? Oh, 16. That's not bad. Okay, we can get this done really quick. Yeah, we can get this done super quick. Probably one more. Hell yeah. Come on. All right, 40 out of 40, and now we need to chop down trees. Damn, look at me just destroying the environment. No big deal. Hey, my tree. Back the fuck off. Wobbuffet. All right, really? 39 out of 40? Wow, the tree immediately regrew. Requires logging skill. Oh, it's a mature tree. So wait, I just cut down a smaller tree and it immediately turned into a mature tree. Is that how that works or is that just a coincidence? Hold on, let me try and cut down another small one. See what happens. Nobody touch my fucking tree. 
my fucking tree. Uh, okay. Let's go turn this in. Try Venom. I honestly, this may be a hot take. I think the great swords in this game look stupid. They're too big, and the way people carry them is dumb. Maybe, maybe that's a unique opinion to me. Now you could say the same for my axe. It's not like my axe is realistic either. That's definitely just how trees work. They just <laughs> you cut down a small one and a big one takes its place. I mean, I think that checks out. I haven't gone outside in weeks, so what do I know? I've literally been in my house for weeks at this point. No joke. Because <laughs> of my lip. <laughs> um, I mean, I've gone outside, but... What am I supposed to do? Stone blocks. I need to craft how many? What's my quest? Hold on. Craft 10 stone blocks, 4 coarse leather, and 10 timber. So, 10 of these. Craft. Uh, exit station. Okay, so that's the stone cutting table. We need to go to the tannery. Oh, it's over here. Alright, so this is essentially teaching me the basics of crafting. Wood shop. Timber. We need 10 of these, if I remember right. Oops. Okay, now the tannery is... Workshop. Wait. It should tell me. Wait, why is it not showing up on my... Ooh, lore. Lore. A legendary weapon. Held. I held the eternal blade in my hands. I could not identify the metal. It was lighter than steel and glittered like polished silver. I swear it hummed. The High King bid me strike an old anvil with the edge. I dared not until he commanded it. Gripping it firmly, I smote the anvil and sheared away its heel in one stroke. Holy shit. The eternal blade bore no mark. Its edge remained keen as a razor. By God, I will never see its equal. I want that sword. <laughs> no. Damn. Okay, it's way over here. Fuck, why don't they put it all together? Get stoneworking, woodworking, blacksmithing, and then they put tannery way over here. Why would they do this? Just put it all in the same place. Wait, why is that glowing? Pull well. Does it just give me water? Yeah, just give me water. Okay. More lore. The Covenant's Doctrine. Okay, this is another one of the factions. Okay, so this is about the Covenant. Keep faith. Shall we rejoice? Humankind's oldest enemy is gone. Death is dead. We have reached the promised land, yet there are some who call it a false promise. This land seeks our ruin, they cry. But even more dangerous are the enemies within. Moral weakness blinds us to the truth. Those who live in the dark can never recognize paradise. But we, where eyes fail, faith sees. The covenant carries the spark. In our time of need, the spark carries us. Its clarity is our greatest gift. We bring the light of the spark to the darkest corners. We keep it shining at any cost against any foe, and one day it will shine bright enough to reveal paradise itself. Ah, okay. Definitely not joining that faction. That sounds lame. What's up, Fortis? Yeah, we're definitely not joining that faction. That sounded stupid. Okay, we needed uh, how much leather? Four. Just craft as many as we need. I don't know if there. I don't know if I should just craft it all or just as many as I need. I don't need, know yet, so we'll just do as many as I need. Let's not overdo it. Now I'm debating whether or not to keep using this shotgun. I want to try out the shotgun. As opposed to that glove. The glove is really cool, though, that I was using. Great. You brought exactly what I needed. The right type and the right amount. Are you always this resourceful? I am, as a matter of fact. I've been told I can be handy. Ooh, am I flirting? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good person, Rachel I know. Sadak. Why does he keep You're calling me that? Very well here on Eternum. I hope to see more of you. Okay. Let me see what this glove does. You made friends Wait. Achievement unlocked. Person would be 
lucky to call a friend. Uh, what did I unlock? Quests completed. Complete 25 quests. Do I get anything for it? I hope I can return the favor. Mm. Reinforced mining luck plus 2% chance at finding rare items while mining. Reinforced harvesting luck. Okay, we're going to wear that. Yeah, we want the harvesting luck. Kamal Kadir. You made friends here? You seem like someone a person would be lucky to call a friend. I thank you. Back home in Syria, <laughs> we always repay favors. You've helped me a lot. Okay. I hope I can return the favor. New World No Life. What's up, Hi Def? We'll see. We'll see how much this game gets me addicted. Also, I think it's clear, Syria, this game takes place in uh, the real world, and this is just a pocket fantasy world within that takes place within our real world, it seems like. One good turn deserves another. Words to live by, Rajal Sadat. Stop calling me that. You could be night material. And I want to see you make it through a few more summers at least. Okay. Has anyone taught you how to make a sword? No, not yet. I suppose I must do everything around here. I'm sure that once I teach you to make a sword, you'll be able to supply armories. Ooh. You have that industrious look about you. You got that right. Been playing off and on since release. It's come a long way in the last couple of years and is very enjoyable, I'd say. Oh, good. I uh, I heard that people had some criticisms early on, and now with this new expansion, I wanted to try it out. I figured uh, I've never played it, so no better time to try it than the new expansion, right? When everyone else is like playing it too, it's kind of a good time. Uh, okay, accept the quest. You got any questions? We have to help where I can. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I'll let you know. Right now, we're just bumbling our way through, trying to figure it out as best we can. So far, it's pretty self-explanatory. I haven't had too, I haven't really had any issues, and I really like, um, I really like the way it handles teaching in this game, where it doesn't just bog you down with tutorials. Instead, it just kind of, it makes it. I'm just like playing the game and learning as I go. I like that. Oh, what's up, cornball? How's the frog pond? Oh, it's good. We're cooking tonight. <laughs> We're cooking. I want to get a lot done in this game tonight. You know, as long as my lip doesn't start bothering me, we're going to get... My plan is to get a lot done. Look at this guy's armor. Holy shit. Alpoco Don. Damn. How do I look like that? That's cool. What's this guy look like? Or this girl. Delicious frog. It gives you the freedom to kind of learn on your own, but you aren't completely blind. Yeah, no, I like I like the pace of this game so far. All right, so we have three quests. One is collect unrefined ore from iron veins in Monarch Bluffs. Okay, we'll do that as we go. Let's head towards these other two quests. And then, uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, so we need to find iron, iron vein ore then. Uh, we could go back to that mine that we were at. The frog pond is bubbling. It was much more of a grind back in the day, but they streamlined the questing and leveling, so it's a bit friendlier to new players. Yeah, I think I do remember that being a complaint uh, early on, was that it was like a lot of just running back and forth that took a lot of time. And, like, I, that's why I didn't really pick it up back then, is, like, the game came out, and I heard a lot of complaints about it, so I was like, ah, I'll focus on other things, I won't play it. But, now I'm hearing some good stuff, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to check it out. And so far, I like it. We're only about three hours into the game, but I really like it. Let's see. Wait, collect bottles of old world wine. Talk to Sir Payne Bennett and get the lay of the land. Okay. What is this? What is this thing? Can I climb this? Oh, we can. Nice. I wonder what this icon is. Oh, I could have just kept going straight. Whatever. Oh, it's a waypoint. Right? That's what this is? 
Bryce said overlook shrine. Okay, yeah, it's a waypoint. Nice. Oh, these are iron ore. Fast travel location, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, okay, let's jump down. I, there's really not a lot of fall damage in this game, <laughs> which I kind of appreciate. It doesn't seem like they're... Look at all these camps. What the fuck? Were these created by players, or is this uh, part of the game? Like, were these all created by other players, or is this just part of, like, the, um, the zone? Fall damage is percentage-based, so it will never kill you. It can hurt a bit, though. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. That's actually really good to know. I didn't know that. Okay. Sir Payne. Good of you to join us, my valued friend. I heard about your heroics at the mine. You definitely have the makings of a knight. Huzzah! For now, <laughs> we are simply grateful to have your support. Not quite a full contingent here, I'm afraid. How can I help? Before you do anything else, you must build yourself a campsite. It's the wise move when we're this far from private. There's a splendid spot nearby. Set your tent. All right, so these are all other players we'll trying to complete this quest, I guess. Sounds like the uh, sounds like the all course to yeet yourself off cliffs or the all clear. Yes, <laughs> I mean that's essentially what I've been doing. <laughs> uh, make a campsite. Make a camp set a respawn point at Bryce said shore. Is why. Yep, these are all other players. Wow, look at this. Everybody trying to complete the same quest. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna have to find a spot I can fit it, aren't I? Damn it. This is one of those uh, things where when you play an MMO, when everybody else is playing, <laughs> you can run into situations like this. There we go. That's kind of cool that I can see other players' campsites, though. I like that. Alright, and then... Alright, so that's now our respawn point. So if we die, we'll end up there, I guess. Whose is this? Ooh, this is a fancy campsite. Isn't this one of the ones that you can get from a Twitch drop? Right? So I can go change skin. Twitch. Twitch. Uh, okay. I think there's Twitch drops. There are camp skins you can get. Okay. What's up, Cheesy? You should probably talk to the neighbors and introduce yourself. Yeah, we got a thriving community here. Of lo of, of new world noobs. <laughs> a thriving community of new players. You can only spawn at your camp if you die within 500 meters of it. So if you wander too far, be sure to put another camp down. Oh, where do you spawn if you don't do another camp? Is it back in town? That's interesting. Do you go all the way back to town if you uh, if you don't set a camp? Lend them some sugar. You are their neighbor. <laughs> in my entire adult life, I have never lent a neighbor sugar. Nobody has ever asked, and I'm ulti I am very disappointed. <laughs> you spawn at the closest town or fast travel point you have unlocked. Okay. Oh, you're back. <laughs> That's good to know. I am at a bit of a loss here. Oh, a few months ago, this barren beach had nothing but a smattering of pirates. Okay. Now it appears to be a war camp, with more pirates and supplies arriving by the minutes. Oh gosh. We need a plan of attack. Indeed. It's going to Can I join the pirates? That'd be cool. <laughs> and we currently lack an army. Perhaps we should pursue a more honorable approach to resolving this Look, conflict. I'm the main character. I'm a, I have plot armor. I'm essentially an army. Just tell me what to do. Oh, I get armor. Hell yes. You two stay here and defend our position. I you too. Forth and challenge the leader of the pirates. To Wait, why does he say you too? When I am victorious, <laughs> I will demand that they withdraw from these shores forthwith, never to return. 
I'm confused. Why do you say you two? Is there two of me? Uh, you think they'll honor that? Oh, uh, well, yes. Good point. Yeah, no, no, hell, no, they I won't. I suppose then we have a more limited set of options. If I was a pirate, I wouldn't honor it. I'm afraid I'm not much of a strategist in a scenario like this. Uh, what do you think would be most prudent? We start with the supply lines. Oh, that's a grand idea. They've been unloading cargo using the smaller rowboats. If you can destroy the anchors and set the boats adrift, that would slow oh, them interesting. down. <laughs> I'll stay and keep an eye out for their leader. Maybe he's drunk and seeing two of you. Oh, you might be right. Oh, is that what they're trying to say? That'd be hilarious. Wait, that might be what it is. What else would he... <laughs> Uh, plus two constitution. Now, so this is a heavy armor, okay? So how does it increase? Oh, wow. 86.2 armor against elemental and 86.2 armor against physical. Wow, that's much better. You have to parlay. It'd be the pirate code. <laughs> okay. And if that doesn't work out, I'll join the pirates. Who doesn't want to be a pirate, right? Especially like in this time period. Right, let's test this fall damage. Let's see how much this will do. Uh, that's where I'm supposed to go, right? Let me make sure. Wait, nope. Hold on. Before I do that, I got to go talk to this guy. Oh, maybe this is who he was talking about. Ash Dubois. Have you ever met such coordinated pirates? It's like they went to school or something. <sighs> How will people ever find their way to Pridewen if they can't even survive this beach? On the left, you can see the bonuses you get from wearing heavy, medium, or light armor as well. Oh, wait. I'll have to take a look. People, perhaps people post a scurvy. Yeah. You'll be fine. What's a little scurvy? I never killed anyone, right? When did you come to the I island? I was a baby and an absolute a baby. terror. Folks here say I used to leap out from behind trees and startle them. <laughs> hey, that's how I got My this. <laughs> and I spoke a little French back then. That's how I got this. Jumping out and scaring people. <laughs> a fleur de lis? You sound royal. Royal? Ha, hardly. I just want to make these pirates cry for their mothers. Hmm. If only they didn't have so many weapons and barrels of gunpowder. We can use their barrels against them. Very smart I am. Oh, what a good way to turn the barrels on them. Sneak up on the pirates, light their barrels, and then boom! Pirates blown to pieces! <laughs> I keep watch here and make sure no oh, yeah. one foils our ground. Yeah, just stay here. Ooh, Lost Chill Ice Gauntlet. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Okay, we're gonna get that. Is what you arg is what you say when you get stabbed. Yar is what pirates. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Forgive me, mistake. <laughs> uh, okay. Damn it! I was hoping he was drunk. I guess there is two of us. So let me see. Let me look at this armor. So on the left is what you get. Let's see. Uh. Link to chat, lock, change skin. So, yeah, it just gives me more physical and elemental defense. That's the only really change. I mean, I'm sure there's a weight element to it as well. Yeah, weight is way heavier. I don't know how much that affects my movement speed. It seems like I'm actually a little bit slower. I think I can tell. Versus heavy 23.3 in yellow. Oh, I see. Heavy, 23.3. That's my equipment load. Oh, interesting. So if I wear medium... Oh, light armor, my base damage goes up. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so when I'm in heavy armor... You're, you have higher defense, but you ultimately do less damage. You have uh, more stability. 
You take less crowd control duration. Okay, this is interesting. You can't do that. It's parlay. It's illegal, and pirates always follow the rules. It's very true. Pirates are known to follow the rules. <laughs> Trust me. I would know. You can also mix and match armor. You can wear a medium chest and the rest light and still be classified as a light load. Could you wear a heavy chest and the me the rest would be medium and still count as a medium load? I'm going to go to Somalia and test that theory of yours. Oh yeah, modern day pirates are terrifying. Let's see, this is light, medium, 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 or heavy. Uh, let's change my boots then. That way we still constitute medium. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Now we're medium, so we get do 10% more damage. Gives you a lot of options as far as armor goes. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. So now I can wear the heavy chest armor, but I still do that get that 10% bonus from being medium. Oh, this guy looks cool. I like the look of that. That's cool looking. I'm excited to get this uh, ice gauntlet. Oh yeah, see, that wasn't too bad. Just 403 damage. Obsidian Flux. Destroy Anchor. Oh, I have to hit it. Okay. Wine Jar. Okay, we're getting multiple quests done at once. That's good. I'm noticing that this game actually rewards picking up more than one quest at a time. Because uh, they all seem to be kind of in similar areas. I kind of hate when there's a... There's, some MMOs do this thing where it's like... you'll Like in one town, you'll pick up five different quests. And they all have you go to completely different places. And then it just feels like your, your uh, quest bar is cluttered. I don't like that. Okay. Oh, cool. You can actually, actually see the ship on the water. The quest used to be pretty spread out, which is why people complain about running all over the place. It's a bit better now. Yeah. So far, it's been better, at least. <clears throat> this game doesn't have classes in traditional MMO sense. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like this game is very much... Your class is based on what weapon you choose to use and uh, where you put your attributes. Let's put some into intelligence. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very much similar to ESO in that sense. Like, you don't... You, I mean, ESO does have classes, but within those classes, you can choose healer, DPS, tank, and it's all based on the weapons you use and the skills you choose. I like that system. And you can freely swap whenever you want, so you have the option to switch your class whenever you want. I like that. That's really cool. I don't like games that lock you in. Let me try my shotgun. Oops, I missed. I like the shotgun, actually. It feels more impactful than that gauntlet I was using. Sounds like that helps solve the issue of having to level alts to change the experience. Worst part of it is, I hate that. I hate having to. I hate having to do alts. ESO, you have to do alts as well. I mean, you don't have to do alts in ESO. It's just easier. It just makes life a lot easier. Damn, the shotgun is really good. Damn, I like the shotgun. Or the blunderbuss, sorry. Incorrect terminology, my bad. Whoa, look at that guy. He's level 61. That's some cool armor. Not the heart, but that's the best part of Final Fantasy. You can just change. You can go back to other games now. No, I'm also, I'm also currently playing Final Fantasy too. So that's good to know. And I just started. So I wasn't really sure how that worked. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this game. 
so far is I think the great swords look kind of goofy. They're so big, and the way the character just runs while holding them. <laughs> Wait, how do I put? Oh yeah, that's how you put your weapon away. I don't know why, but the great swords look kind of goofy to me in this game. They feel good to use though. I still haven't gotten one. I still haven't found one. I found this great axe, but not a not a great sword. Not so great sword. I'll try it once I get one. See if I like it. But looking at them, from, looking at them on other characters, it feels, it looks a little funny looking to me. Like the way that person's carrying it, it looks kind of funny. Traders hold. Okay. Bush. What am I doing here? Uh, destroy the explosive and make the pirates suffer. Okay. Can do. This is the pirate's den, right? My dodge is still just a fast step. Did that count? Nope, that didn't count for me. Alright, we need to find another one. Yeah, we are fast loading gunpowder, <laughs> black powder rifles. <laughs> All right, we got that one. Come on, get it. Got that one. Friendly fire. I don't think friendly fire exists. I wonder how PVP works in this game. I'm kind of interested to try that. I normally don't get super into PVP and MMOs though. So it probably won't be something I put a lot of time into, but I want—I do want to check it out at some point. But I, I usually don't put a lot of time into PvP and MMOs. It's not. Ooh, what are these? They're heavy though. I would lose my. Um... But wait, are they better than my chest? No. No. All right, we need to find another gunpowder barrel. Are there any on here? Ooh. Hey, it's rewarding my exploration. That's always a good thing. It's always good when the game rewards exploration. Ow. Oh, is he a boss? Oh, I wait, hold on. I forgot about my, uh... There we go. PvP is pretty fun. It can get a little overwhelming in groups, though, especially if you aren't coordinated with allies. Yeah, I think that's how I feel with PvP and MMOs in general. It can get really overwhelming. I did a little of the PvP in MSO. I did, too. I tried the, uh, in ESO, I tried, like, the Cyrodiil, uh, experience where essentially you just go and it's like a giant campaign against the other factions, <clears throat> and it's fun until you get into a skirmish with other PvP players who are all really fucking good, um, and you just get one shot because they're so much better at the game than you. Yeah, ESO PvP is really hard. I'm not very good at it. Have I beat Baldur's Gate 3 yet? No, I have not, actually. I, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for not having beaten it yet. Honestly, I need to, I need to put more time into it. I heard, the one thing I've heard about that game, the only negative thing I've heard about Baldur's Gate 3 is that the end, uh, isn't as good as the beginning in terms of the plot. No spoilers, I don't know how it ends, but I have heard that. Did you beat it, Cornball? Milk, rice. Ooh, got a bunch of stuff there. All right, we need one more god dang uh, barrel. There we go. No, wait, that's only four. Damn it. Did that hurt me? I don't think that even hurt me. Let's see, we need, oh shit. Oh God, I might die. 
I might die. Why does my shotgun seem to be better than my my axe? Healing potion. I can hit three to heal, I think. Oh, this person's saving my life. Thank you. <laughs> that person totally saved me. I liked it, but maybe it depends on how you... On uh, how you... Okay, and yep. We beat it last night starting evil playthrough. Ooh, wait. That's a good... Oh, damn it. Oh, it did hurt me. Uh, that's a good point. I should beat it because I would like to do an evil playthrough in that game. I should beat it. You got a new Ethernet cord and it's been good. Oh no! Oh no! Is it? Am I down? All right, there we go. All right, I'm back. Okay, thank you, phone ball. All right, we're back. I don't know what that was. I thought we were done with those issues, but apparently not. Uh oh, shoot! I need to go say good night. Well, now I gotta go say goodnight. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold on. We're live again, but I need to go step away for a second. I'm still alive, right? Yeah, okay, we haven't gone down again. Thank God. The hair looking dope? Oh, thank you, Cornball. I don't know how long I'm gonna let it go, but we're, I'm gonna let it keep going for a while. We'll see how long of it, until I cut it. But I think I do like it longer too, actually. Why is this guy so tanky? Jesus. Okay, hold on. Is it just because he was blocking? Okay, it's probably just because he's blocking. Or she. Stop. Wait. Do heavy attacks break block? They might. I think heavy attacks might break. Uh, might break blocking. Not entirely sure though. All right, let's head back up. I am digging the shotgun. Let's try the uh, blunder or the uh, musket again. Let's see what that feels like. 
Is that a clown? That person looks like a clown. Just make sure you have to have your wife teach you how to take care of it and keep it healthy. I'm not gonna, I, I don't wanna brag. My hair looks, if we're comparing my hair and my wife's, I would argue mine is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more luscious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, uh, I'm stitching. No, please don't. God, please don't. <laughs> but yes, I, I, uh, I try and take care of my hair. All right, let's talk to this guy. Sir Payne Bennett. Oh, 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 bravo, my bold friend. I feared the pirates would overwhelm you, but it seems you are nigh unstoppable. You're damn right. <laughs> With their supplies cut off and boats adrift, their ability to wage war will be severely... Oh, I get a new axe. I forgot about that. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. He's going to have another quest for me, right? Okay, yeah. It or not, while you were battling on the beach, we apprehended an enemy spy. We all saw Miss O'Malley in pride when, and now we caught her skulking out of the pirate's lair. Wait, what? We all saw Miss O'Malley in pride when, and now we caught her. Well, we knew she was a pirate. She's not a spy. She's on our side. She insisted she was here scouting the place for her own end. That makes sense. I find that extremely hard to believe. Look at her, looking all suspicious. But, uh... <laughs> I suppose if you're willing to vouch for her, we should at least. Yeah, yeah, we. I'll vouch for her. She seems all right by me. Uh, let me get my ice gauntlet. I want to try that out. That was money Sexist. <laughs> with gunpowder barrels. Had Sir Payne witnessed this, he might have even made you a squire. Lady, I am way higher ranking than a squire. Look at me. I'm a badass. Is this how you became a squire? Oui. Sir Payne sees the spark of a knight in me. I have to train more. Mm -hmm. And fight more. Mm -hmm. And impress the regent. So you got a lot to do. But you'll see. I become a knight soon. Then everyone will call me Sir Ash. Nice. All right. I want to try out this, this uh, ice gauntlet. Uh, what ranks up ice gauntlets, actually? It is intelligence, right? Yeah, it's intelligence. Is that the tricorn of a squire? No. Wait, the tricorn? What's a tricorn? Let me try this ice. Ooh. Oh, it looks lame. Why does it look lame? Oh, that was kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of cool. A charge attack looks all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what a tricorn is. Yes. I thought it looked better than the fedora. A little bit more like, uh, piratey. You know? I've watched these rotters. I know what's driving them, making them go mad. If this sod didn't have his head up his arse, I could have already told you everything you need to know. Explorer. <laughs> Grace, what did you see? I'll tell you. But if you go in, I'm expecting some loot. There's something this lady. Of altar in there, glowing like a beacon. The bastards are drawn to it like flies to a carcass. I mm. wager they'll wander off if you smash the damn thing. Okay. Can do. Uh, what's that one? Collect unrefined ore. We gotta remember to do that. I'm completely forgetting that part. Okay. I am really enjoying this game, actually. A lot more than I thought I would, to be honest. It really reminds me a lot of, like, ESO. And I really like ESO. 
But I think the combat in this game feels more interesting than ESO. It's also quite pretty for an MMO. Yeah, that's true. It is. That's very true. In terms of graphics, it is pretty good for an MMO. Better than the standard, that's for sure. God damn, the standard don't look too good. <laughs> like, even Final Fantasy at this point... Like, Final Fantasy looked amazing, like, six years ago. It still looks good. But it, it is starting to look a little bit dated. Alright, am I going the right way? I mean, I can't, I can't really criticize anybody, though, because I play... I like ESO, and ESO... Is also not looking too good anymore. It looks dated. There's a graphic updating coming with the next. Is there really? Ooh, that's really exciting. Okay. That's really exciting. Maybe I'll stream Final Fantasy at some point. Okay, so what we're, we're supposed to destroy something here, right? XP4. XP4. What is this? What is this? What am I supposed to be doing here? Ow. Uh, optional. Destroy the strange altar... Uh, optional defeat Helvin the Navigator, the protector of the altar. Where's the altar? Oh, here's Helvin the Navigator. Ow, that hurt. Yep, I'm pumped. If you need a, a healer, let me know. Okay, hell yeah. I need to get more into it. I'm still going through, like, the start of the game. Is this where the altar is? Ooh, we leveled up my axe. Uh, okay, so we can either do... Uh, whirlwind. Spin and attack all nearby foes in a 2.5 meter radius, dealing 50% weapon damage. If you hit a foe, spin again. Oh, shit. That's really good. Yeah, we're doing spin. 100% spin to win, right? Uh, attributes, we don't have those. Trade skills. What class did you pick to begin with? I picked, I am a, uh, uh, Lancer. I started, I didn't understand how the class system worked at first, and I picked, uh, Gladiator. And I realized that was more of a tanky class, and I wanted to do DPS, so I switched to, I made a new character, and I switched to Lancer. Wait, why can't I loot this? Come on, loot it. I can't loot this for some reason. Okay. I can't do anything. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had the chat open probably. Damn it. Yep, I had the chat open. Dragoon is dope. Yeah, even uh, my character I made is even a... He's a Drachnoid. Or whatever they're called. Whatever that race is called. I think he looks pretty badass. Not gonna lie. Um... Ow! God damn it. I was looking at my inventory, you piece of shit. I love it. I love spinning and winning. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's the altar. Why can't... Come on. God damn it. Collect Helvin the Navigator's blunderbuss. My little gal is too. Just make sure when you do your job quests immediately upon unlocking them and you're golden. Wait, your job quests? Anyway, to be completely honest, I don't even know what job quests are. You mean like uh, your class quests? So like the Lancer quests? Because that is what I've been doing. I've been doing them immediately. What is the... Um...
So there's this main number here, like this one, the one I'm wearing is a hundred and this one's 118. I don't want these indic. I don't know what these indicate. Ooh. Constitution. I don't really need my constitution to be increased, though. You're doing great, then. Can you hover for more information? I don't know. No, it won't let me, um... Lock. L plus left click. I don't want to lock it, no. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know what that number indicates. I love it. Any chance I have to spin to win. It's the ultimate gameplay style. Hmm. Talk to Grace O'Malley. Okay, let's go talk to Grace again. I'm going to switch from my ice gauntlet back to the musket for now, I think. Oh, wait. Nope, I messed up. Oh, what is this? Fyodor's anchor. Oh, shit. It's a war hammer. I already used that. And then we're also going to use... Hold on. Didn't I also get a new blunderbuss? Or is that a quest item? I think it's a quest item. Okay, so then we're just gonna equip this musket. I wanna try these out. I'm literally just wielding an anchor. It is super slow. Okay, let's go talk to Grace. We might as well try out all the weapon types though. Let's try it. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. Can't be as rough as an anchor in, in Elden Ring. Wait, was there an anchor in Elden Ring? I don't even remember. Wait, hold on. All right, yeah, so heavy attacks do break block. I don't remember the anchor, I'm gonna be honest. There were so many goofy ass heavy weapon types in that game. I remember there was one great sword that was essentially just uh, a big rock on a, uh, <laughs> on a handle. There was so many, that was such a cool game because for that reason that there were so many goddamn weapon types. Rusty anchor. Let me see. I don't think I ever found this one. Or if I did, I completely forgot it. That's int I don't remember that one at all. Do you think they'll come out with DLC anytime soon? I know that people have been talking about Elden Ring DLC forever at this point. made it in and out of the pirate's den safely. I knew you could do it. Unlike this sod. Tell me, did you find that glowing altar? I did. Found it and destroyed there. it. there. We make a good team. I go in first, all sneaky like, and get the lay of the land. Then you follow up with force, taking care of business. Of course, for a partnership, <clears throat> it's vital all parties profit in a Uh, venture. mostly me. Don't worry, I got your loot right now here. that's a right decent friend. This will get me a bit closer to securing my ship. Sir Pain in my arse here tells me the Night Regent might be hiring new scouts <laughs> Pain well. in my arse. So I'll be heading back to Pridewind. See you there. It was in a dungeon you might have missed, and it was announced in March called Shadow of the Erd Tree. Oh, that's right. Duh. That's... Okay, I totally forgot about that. Uh, wow. It's just been so long, I totally forgot. Looks like it's, uh, it'll be something to do with Michaela, or Mikola, but I don't know what the, Oh, that's right, the one in the egg, right? The one that, um... 
the one that, uh, oh fuck, what's his name? Margaret's brother or whatever took. To be fair, it's been a, gr a great year in gaming. Easy to forget. Yeah, definitely. Thank no you for understanding. <laughs> Miss O'Malley gets what she wants and disappears. I do hope your courage accomplished more than padding her coin purse. Complete quest. We get a fire staff. Milani's brother and Moog. Yeah, Moog. You had to wade through to reach the heart of the pirate's den. Did you find the foul sorcery Miss O'Malley claimed was there? Yes, it was calling the lost. Interesting. Perhaps that's why we're seeing even fewer of the scoundrels coming ashore than before. This revelation should be taken back to the night regent with all, all right, let's I must go. keep vigil here. Ensure these scoundrels don't attempt any further scoundrels. incursions to the south. You must go alone and go quickly. Use the spirit shrine to return to Pride. Oh yeah, it's the fast travel jarring, system. But time is of the essence. See, I like how they do this, where they teach you how the game works by like in just incorporating it in the quests very like uh, easily. So there's not just this big long explanation of how something works. Uh, this is a it's a I have a little bit of a complaint about this with Final Fantasy. Uh, it feels like Final Fantasy sometimes like holds my hand and does like big exposition dumps about how things work sometimes, but uh, it's not too bad to be honest. But this game, it seems really smooth. I really just feel like I'm playing the game. I don't know why I shot at him. What level am I now? Bio? Uh, let's see. Oh, I have three attribute points. Okay. Wait, how did my constitution go up to 22? Oh, probably from armor. That's right. That's perfectly valid. And some things aren't said that need to be. Oh, really? That'll be interesting to figure out. This is why I need to stream every game I play. So people who know can tell me. <laughs> you know? Oh, this costs. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fast travel cost. Base cost is 20. Current territory discount. So the total is 10. I can just recall to the end, right? Why would I pay? I couldn't get into Final Fantasy just because I'm not a fan of the art style of it. That's that's totally fair. I I actually don't mind the art style of it, but I can totally understand not liking it. People are generally nice to people. It's a pretty welcome community. They'll let you know usually. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I got invited to... Uh, there's like a mentor program in Final Fantasy where there's like a chat where you get mentors... Uh, I got invited to that last time I was playing, and I was looking at the chat, and the, the people were being very helpful. I don't really like the look of this anchor. We're gonna go to this axe. Ooh, yes. How do I compare? Well, we can salvage. Let's salvage some things. Okay, we good? Alright. I think it's actually Twitch. I don't think that was me. My internet did not go down. Yeah, my internet didn't go down. I, I, I didn't lose internet there. I think Twitch just dropped me for some, like, kicked me off for some reason. It's too good of a stream. They couldn't handle it. I'll write a letter to Daddy Bezos and tell him to get on it. Thank you, Idef. I appreciate that. <laughs> Someone needs to hold that man accountable. I'm too important to be dealing with shit like this. Look at this cool axe I just got. Uh, it looks so big on my character, but it's cool. I like it. Now I'm worried I'm constantly going to be going down.
Woe unto those who hanger the hypnoslode. Thy, they shall feel the wrath of the frog pond. <laughs> we won't shut up. Yeah, a lot of the design for this game is top tier for MMOs. It really is. I, you're totally right on that. It looks great for an MMO. Another MMO that I'm hoping is really good is Ashes of Creation. I don't know if it will be. I'm a little bit skeptical. Um, but it looks really cool. Uh, and I'm really hoping it ends up good. When it comes out in 10 years. It is most excellent to see you return in good health. You are one of the few I can trust in these strange times. Mm -hmm. Your enterprising friend Grace left just moments ago. She said some foul altar was rallying the pirates. Right. I've seen some of their dev updates and it's piqued my interest as well. Yeah, that's what I, I've been watching their live streams when they come out with them. It seems like a decent game. I mean, they got a lot of work to do, I think. Um, but I think it could be really good. I've heard so much about that one. I'm thinking it'll end up like Star Citizen with those kinds of promises. I really hope not. They are being very, very transparent and open about their progress and really doing a good job, like live streaming their gameplay and showing it. I do think the game will eventually come out. I'm just worried that by the time it comes out, all the stuff that we think is cool right now that they're doing will be kind of outdated by that point because it's going to take forever to come out. It has been destroyed. I think it is natural to assume this strange altar was somehow related to the tablet you found at Hiraeth Peak. Oh, I didn't think about that. Young Probably. He's been studying the fragments you brought back. He believes they are ancient in origin. Okay. Uh, complete quest. I've been here a short time, but perhaps you have seen the ruins yourself. Though humans have inhabited this island for thousands of years. There was a oh, interesting. mysterious ancient civilization here even before we arrived. Oh, cool. I like this. Is that where the lost came from? Many have sought answers to such questions, but few can claim to have reliable knowledge. One thing I do know, however, is that the lost usually stay away from the ruins of the ancients. Interesting. Kind of like Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Did that game have that problem too? Where it looked really good at first, but by the time it came out, it was outdated. Uh, but this magic clearly affects them. It certainly appears that way. Though Sage Geezer insists this tablet was not buried at the mine, but rather planted. Right, that's right. You should converse with the Sage yourself. This new information may yield a new insights. I'll go right away. Please exercise discretion in speaking of these matters around town. Okay. The people are excited about the heir's return. I would not dampen their spirits. Okay. And we got some new legs. Okay. Let's see. Now, my legs I'm wearing right now are medium. So I get 24.2 protection on both. These new legs are light, which give me 29.8 protection. Okay, we're going to wear these. Yeah, definitely wear those. They are better. I could wear this bonnet. <laughs> nah, I won't bind it. I'm not going to use it. Okay. So, I got some quests down here. Mm -mm -mm. Let me go see what these are. I already read that. It had the terrible, terrible luck of coming out same time as Elden Ring. Oh, shit. Direct comparisons were made. And Horizon Zero Dawn 2 looked outdated by comparison. And then Dev started talking shit on Twitter. Oh, boy. That's a big mistake. That's always a big mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can feel the party coming on already. We got wine and honey cakes. It's gonna be a feast. I like Gertie. She's my type of gal. Always talking about partying and drinking and food. It's a whole, It was a whole thing. Interesting. I didn't... That went right by me somehow. I never heard about that one. I like Gertie. Uh, all right, so these are essentially the same as what I have now, but they give me more strength. So yeah, we're gonna wear those. I'm hoping to get more info on Pax Die. Oh yeah, that's another one. 
Uh, but they haven't released anything for a few months now. Yes, I did know about Pax Die. I've heard that one was... That's the one where you can turn into animals, right? Like, instead of having a mount, you turn into an animal yourself or something like that. Fiona Murphy. Come, Seeker. Danger abounds. But your fortune will be grown. Okay. The lost vanished. Peace found. When the true heir takes the throne. Who, they sound important. Mountain and Dale speak the tale. A warrior of wit and renown. Is this like a bard? Victorious raised them strong and brave. A true heir for his crown. Everything she says is like poetry. How do we welcome them? For the heir, bring flowers fair that we may build a path of blooms. May they know their people care. It is them we choose. Interesting. Okay. Except, so what am I supposed to do? I have flowers? Something about flowers? God damn it. I'm a knight with an axe. What am I doing getting flowers? That appeals as a druid lover. Tell me more. Yeah, I think Pax Day is the one where you can literally, like, uh, turn into animals to, to, like, travel around. So, like, instead of, like, having a mount that you ride on, you'll literally turn into the mount. If I understand correctly. Actually, a couple weeks ago, they said they would have an alpha before the year ends. Oh, really? Can sign for it? Okay, I'm signing up for it. I'll stream it. If I if I can get into the alpha, I'll stream it. 100%. All right. Uh, let's go do this. It's closer. You get a group code as well. So if you and your friends put in the same code, you'll get invited together. Oh, shit. Maybe we can all go in, everyone in my stream and me can go in and, and, and get codes. I don't know how that stuff works. I've never really done anything like that. Ooh, look at this guy's armor. That's cool. He's level uh, 63. That's really cool. I need to get one of them great swords. Yours is a face I've not seen before. Aha! You're the newcomer who recovered these fragments from the mine. I am. I'm very excited to speak with you. This material is definitely ancient. Was there more in the pirate den to the north? Yeah, there were pirates. There was an altar. An altar? Related to this tablet, then? Fascinating. Well, it couldn't have been there for long. There's only one possibility. All of this came from the ancient ruins of Caledan and Antares in the eastern wood. Mm. Did I get my KFC Mountain D4? No, I didn't. <laughs> of course I didn't. There's all these things I say I'm going to do, and I always forget. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for that one. Great swords are really good for raw damage. Is that like, That's got to be why everyone uses them. I feel like by, by and large, I see people using great swords in this game. Yeah, I wish I had. At least you admit it. I know. There's all these things that I'm like, oh, that sounds awesome. I want to do that. And I just never get around to it. Uh, we should investigate the ruins. Yes. Only Minister Lochnia forbade me from going there. It's very dangerous, of course. But you, yes, you can go. Start with Caledan. Look for anything recently disturbed. Oh, and don't tell Lochnia. Will do. I don't like Lochnia anyway. Uh, you can build into lifestyle with the skill tree, so good survivability as well. Wait, are you talking about... Let's see, hold on. In this game? Build into lifestyle? Wait, my constitution was way higher not that long ago. Concerned eyeballing of the wheel in the background. <laughs> oh, lifesteal. Ooh. Oh, and the great sword, you mean? Oh, interesting. No, the the wheel will be used. We will be using the wheel. One hundred percent. Oh, it zoomed out. Okay, well that's lovely. <laughs> Somehow the camera settings got fucked up. I gotta zoom them back in. We will be using it. Hopefully tomorrow. I gotta find out. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put on the wheel. Um, Alright. Let's see. Okay, we gotta go over here. 
So we need to go talk to Minister Lochner without revealing the Night Regent's plans. Okay. Can do. Subterfuge. Deceit. Lies. Plotting. Alright, alright, Lochnir. Lochnir. Oh, if it isn't the Night Regent's new page, I need to make a new drink soon. Errand even now, I presume. I am curious. I do not like this guy. Urgent attention when Jay's duty as regent so soon draws to an end. What merits such urgent attention? Oh, so he's saying like, fuck her. She's gonna be out of her position soon anyway. Why are we even bothering with her? She asked I not speak of it around town. Hmm. The night regent should not be conducting affairs she can't reveal to her people. Wouldn't you agree? Dude, I you are more backhanded than her. Since before her birth. <laughs> I should be informed of this matter. This seems to make you nervous. You presume much, Paige. I simply My name is not Paige, it's Hypnoslode. ...as to the true heir when he arrives. Keep your secrets, but know this. Tridwin will be united as never before to honor the royal bloodline. Nothing else matters. All right, I don't like this guy. I mean, I've said it before, I'll say it again. He seems like a piece of shit, piece of shady shit. Excited to see it. We have a huge reservation, so uh, I'll be late getting in, but should be here. Want to see the shenanigans? Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to start tomorrow. We're going to start with Diablo 2, then I'll probably, after Diablo 2, come back and play some more of this game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get some shots. We're going to, I'm going to fill out the wheel. It's, it should be fun. Alright. Alright, uh, okay, so I gotta go do these quests. What's the closest one? Probably Pen Dragon Landing. Alright, let me go make it make, get another drink really quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. All 
Night of the Axe tomorrow night. Yes, tomorrow night we will be spinning the wheel. We will be drinking. Tomorrow night will be fun. I hope. We'll see how it goes. And we'll start with D2 tomorrow. I've just... I, I played this game for the first time yesterday and I immediately got addicted. It's about, a ba it's about balancing your addictions, right? Balancing the addiction to D2 and the addiction to everything else that I have as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one first. It's closest. I also need to remember to get these iron ores. Um, I have that quest lingering over me now. Like a goddamn whatever. Can I interact? No, th th I walk right through the fallen trees. No active camp. So essentially if I die, I go back to- ooh, a wolf. Ow. Okay. I love the sound design of this game. That's another thing I really like about this game. The sound design is super good. The noises are really, really nice and crisp and like, I don't know. They're good. I like them. Problem is, I don't know what an iron vein looks like. Ooh, what am I supposed to do? Gather Avalon lilies for Artorius's heir. Okay. So many devs sleep on sound design. I don't know why it's such a nice touch. A bit darker than a normal stone. Oh, so it looks like a stone, but it's darker. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of people sleep on sound design. I honestly think that if there is a three pillars of game design being graphics, sound, and uh, uh, gameplay, the order of importance would be gameplay, sound, graphics. And you're right, so many people do sleep on it. Place the bouquet. Like some of the most memorable games, a big part of that was their was their music. All right, did I do it? Talk to Fiona Murphy. Okay, I should be able to. How do I do this? Hold on. There's a way to go back to town, right? Hold on. Recall to in. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'd say art direction is much bigger than graphics, though. That's true. Okay. Mm, that's true. That's a very good point. Art direction and graphics are very different. Good, good point. I didn't really consider that. Yeah. Yeah, Wind Waker. Fr yeah, Wind Waker will never look bad. Wind Waker will never look dated because it's just such a strong art style. That's a very good point. Hmm. I forgot about that one. Fiona Murphy. The true heir sought to save us once, and now the answer they'll bring. The lost will learn, be forever turned. They'll know them as our one true king. Oh, wait. The true heir sought to save us once, and now the answer they'll bring. The lost will learn forever, be forever turned. They'll know them as our one true king. So will the lost turn back to normal humans and worship the king? Is that what she's saying? I wish you could hurt NPCs in this game and get them pissed at you. That'd be fun. All right, uh, let's go. Do I have any other quests in town? No, all right, let's go do the main quest. What level am I? I keep asking this question. Um, I'm level 15. Oh, no, I'm level 14. Level and rewards. Have I unlocked anything? I don't think so. Nothing I can grab, it doesn't look like. 
Levels on the very bottom of the left screen. Oh, you're right. I see it now. It's behind my camera. So you guys can't see it. But I'm level 14. And the XP oh, you're right. The XP bar is at the bottom of the whole screen. I never saw that. Okay, cool. Wait. Is there a way to sprint? No. No, there's no way to sprint. This is the fastest you can run, right? No sprint, okay. Hurt Fang Hole. You get movement bonus, movement, sorry. My lip makes it hard to say some words. Movement bonus on some roads, okay. Or on roads, gotcha. Let's see if I can climb this shortcut. I kind of like that you can kind of like parkour this game a little bit. You know, you can kind of finagle your way around. Here we go. Come on, get up there. There we go. Atta boy. Atta boy. There is probably a much easier way around this, but whatever. Is that wolf dead or sleeping? Oh, he was just sleeping. I woke him up with a gunshot. All right, there we go. Oh, there was iron? Oh shit, where? Was it down below? Cause I don't want to go all the way back down. <laughs> Let's see. I should go show them all how to get up since I figured it out. Left. Oh, is this it? No. Wait, hold on. He dropped something, didn't he? Oh no, I can harvest him. That's right. It was at the top of the ridge. Okay. Let me see. It's not that, is it? No. Uh. Let's see here. I might have to just. I'm. I'm. It's so. I'm so bad at seeing things like this. So if I just can't find it, please bear with me. I'm so bad at finding stuff. I'm also colorblind, which doesn't help. Traversing is oddly reminiscent of mountain climbing horses in Skyrim, but not janky. Yes, that's kind of true. <laughs> Corner of the wall. Oh, I see it. I think I see it. Holy shit. I am gonna, if this is what iron veins look like, I am gonna have such a hard time finding them. That looks almost no different than the rest of the wall to me, other than the texture. God damn. All right, we got a lot more to find. Turn brightness and contrast up a little. It helps a lot. Okay, let's see. Uh, settings, video, brightness. Go up to, ooh, uh, I don't want it too bright. Where's contrast? Here we go. Put contrast at six. Ooh, even more colorful. There is colorblind support, but I don't like to use it because what it tends to do is it instead of like, colorblind support is kind of a scam. Because all they do is change the colors. And while they do stand out more, they look wrong. So like instead of red, you'll have orange. And instead of like, I don't know, like green, you'll have like a neon yellow. Like, I don't know. It's just, like it makes the colors look wrong. At least that's my experience of colorblind support. I did not like it in the past when I tried it. I'd rather not be able to see. <laughs> There is a path around, but why not make the harder make this harder and go over energy? I know that's that was that's the that's the markings of a great game when you can make your own path. Iron is much easier to see when it's not on the mountains like that. Okay, I gotcha. I'll actually I'll probably get better at spotting it as time goes on. Let's go up the hill. Let's see what's all the way up here. It's probably one of those things I just need to get better at. 
I see limb. Yeah, I mean, like, there's really no such thing as a fix for colorblindness other than um, just changing the colors altogether, which it just looks weird. Honestly. I like this action, like, uh, combat style in MMOs. Where you can, like, block and dodge. I do like it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at us. Taking on the world. Me and these random people I don't know. <laughs> And once you once your mining gets high enough, you'll see a symbol for iron on your compass at the top of your screen. Oh, really? Okay, that's really helpful. Having marking help, uh, having markings helps or predictability. Wait, I think it depends. Having marking helps or predictability, like the order of lights at stoplights. Yeah, like if you're used to seeing enemies highlighted in red and all of a sudden they're highlighted in orange, it really fucks you up. It, it, it kind of fucks with you mentally. It, like, even if it's harder to see, it's like I can like I'm not blind. I can still see it. It's just it's just not as bright, vivid to me. They call it colorblind, but what it really should be is color dulled. Yeah, in regards to colorblind support, yeah. Like, color there are, I think, one in a thousand colorblind people are actually gray. But most, 99.9% of colorblind people are really just color dulled. So, colors are just slightly less vibrant. So, certain shades that are close to each other can blend. Resource spawns are always at the same location as well, so you know where they spawn. You can target them for, oh, interesting, okay. So they're always in the same spots, just like ESO. What is this? Can I farm this? This looks like something I should be able to mine, but I can't mine it right now. Oh, there's a waypoint over here. Let's grab the waypoint. Oh, someone mined it already. Okay, gotcha. We're gonna go grab this waypoint and then we'll go to the we'll go to the quest after we get the waypoint. Ooh, the fall to darkness. Lore time. <clears throat> Murden cast me out of the order. He accused me of deceit and of sowing the seeds of discord. But I have spoken the truth. I know the evil that has taken root in his mind. I see what he is becoming. The others will not heed my warnings. Fools, the fall of the High King will be on their heads. I do not possess the strength to challenge Murden directly, but I must try to foil his purpose for the sake of us all. I will plead my case directly to the High King. I have found the folk of light and shadow. They may prove to be allies. It is my fervent hope that the High King is as wise as they say. Amaranth the Raven-Haired. The Fall of the High King. I don't know what that reference is. Lore Popcorn, yes. I love lore. Like my favorite part about games is just the lore. I think the only fully colorblind person I know has albinism, so that's low on their list of concerns anyway. Super duper rare, yeah, exactly. There are hundreds of notes to find, so if you enjoy lore, you'll have your plate full. Oh, I do. I'm gonna read every single note I find. I, uh, I very much enjoy lore. The more immersed I feel in a game, the more addicted to the game I get. So we unlock that fast travel point. What is this? Life bloom. I don't have... Requires harvesting skill 30. Okay, I definitely don't have that. Grace O'Malley, what you doing out here, girl? What you doing way out here? Big same. Oh, yeah. L immersion is key. Okay. Artifacts of the Ancients. Lord of the Rings is a gateway drug to lore addiction. My lore addiction started with uh, Sky uh, Oblivion, actually. When I was in like fifth or sixth grade. Oh, this one's voice acted. Oh, I see. 
more objects like these within the nearby ruins of Antares. So I shall continue my search there. For the true heir and the restoration of Pridewind's glory, we will find a way to unite behind the royal bloodline once again. Oh, this is Lochnir. Lochnir's Discoveries. Yeah, this this one is voice acting. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's talk to this guy really quick. Old geezer. So, how does it feel to be alive, stranger? To know you cannot die. I gotta say that feel pretty to good. Graves in Bavaria, but obviously I couldn't do that here. I survived on scraps for a while until I devised a new livelihood. What's your new calling? I craft lost memorials from crystalline tears to soothe grieving families. What does that mean? Peace is always in demand. Many ask me for my services, but the crystalline tears are over, and so the tears of people must wait. I don't understand anything he just said. I craft lost, oh, lost memorials. Okay, I get it. Uh, memorials for people who have turned into lost, so those like zombie people. He crafts memorials for them out of crystalline tears, uh, but the tears are over, so the tears of the people must wait. Interesting. I feel like the voice actor was whispering to us, telling us a little secret. Yeah, it was very quiet, wasn't it? That was like the quietest part, the quietest voice acting in the whole game. Anything I can do to help? You look more limber than me. This guy's pretty quiet too. You may have luck with these ruins. If you can brave the Eldritch dangers and gather some crystalline tears for me, I'll give you a good portion of what I got from the families. You had me at Eldritch dangers. That's all you gotta say, and I'm in. <laughs> all you gotta say is Eldritch Dangers, and I'm in. Um, I got a Fire Staff recently, didn't I? I wanna try this. What does this look like? Alright, so it's just a Fireball. Nothing too exciting. That doesn't interest me. I just wanted to see what it looked like. We welcome our Eldritch Overlords. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, glittering Stone. Um, yes, yes, me too. <laughs> Eldritch is like... I want to make sure I understand that I'm not speaking out of my ass here. Eldritch is like the Mind Flayers from Baldur's Gate, right? Or like the Kraken, or like just like unknown, unspeakable horrors. Those are Eldritch, right? I'm not. A, I'm not an idiot, am I? <laughs> or am I mixing that up? Correct. Okay, good. I want to make sure I wasn't mixing up my words. Okay, yeah, Eldritch is cool. I like Eldritch things. Like unspeakable horrors. Like, um, I have no mouth, but I must scream kind of a thing. Existential being slash horror. Think the spiral from Uzumaki. Yes, yes, exactly. That, that's probably one of my favorite types of horror. There's actually a totally free uh, audio audio. Um, you can listen to the audio book of "I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream" on YouTube for free, and the 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 person who narrates it is so fucking good. And it's only like an hour and a half long, and you can literally just listen to it on YouTube for free. And it's his voice acting is so good. Okay, altars of the po of power. These altars in Caladan seem to have some sort of power over the lost. Power might be the wrong word, but it's definitely some kind of influence. I can use young geezer's notes to figure out how to channel their essence. And if I can't tap into their magic, maybe I can convey them to where they'll be most useful. I must think this plan through to support my true king in the way he deserves. Only then can I join him. Okay. 
Same with me and Lovecraft's works. Yeah, wasn't Lovecraft like the father of the Eldritch Horror? Okay, we're just searching the sites. Gathering stones, crystals. Ow, damn, he went hard there. Holy shit. Okay. Pretty much as we know today. Yeah, Lovecraft was kind of a, a crazy bloke, wasn't he? That's what I've heard. He's kind of a nutter. But he invented a great style of horror, so you know, take the take the good with the bad. He did for existential horror what Tolkien did for high fantasy, set the meta. I like that, set the meta. <laughs> I like I like that terminology. We could quabble about Eldritch versus Existential, but in, in particular, Eldritch as a name came from his work. Okay. That's a good comparison. Okay, that's good to know. Then, two of my favorite um, fiction writers then would have to be uh, Tolkien and Lovecraft. I definitely like uh, the genres that both of them helped create. Nutty, racist, and terrified of women, but he got his Junji Ito. Yeah, I mean, didn't he? Li didn't he spend like the second half of his life in an insane asylum? I think it's pretty fitting then. <laughs> so many tears, such little time. You've done well by bringing these crystalline tears. You will be in the thoughts of many families when they say their final prayers. Okay. And what did he give me? Healing. Oh, healing staff. He has major issues. Yeah. You know what? We'll just focus on the good things he created. That's my philosophy. Hugo Molina. Did you venture forth for freedom or fame? I came here to live happily with my sweet. I like his armor, actually. Other than that arm, other than that shoulder. He big dead, yeah, he a big dead. He is big dead. I'd one day crave death, like water in the desert. Wait, hold on. I didn't listen to what this guy said at all. Hugo Molina. Okay. Did you venture forth for freedom or fame? I came here to live happily with my sweetheart, a Moorish woman. What does that word mean? Is that a race? Moorish? Does she just live in the Moors of Ireland? Uh, we both fled from impending execution for our forbidden love. Who knew I'd one day crave death like water in the desert? Oh shit, did she die? Is eternal life that bad? And it is when you're the I knew it. A woman is no more. Even the moon burns you. Fatima's soul gave up on me. What does that mean? She came to me in a dream the other day and asked me to piece together this mirror. But I don't have all the fragments. This guy sounds a little bit crazy. Yeah. I'll help you find them. Would you? Fatima said if I piece this mirror for her, she'll finally find peace. Oh, he's being haunted. I stole from her. Oh, we were so happy once. But all the sacrifices we made. Have you ever been with someone and yet felt so alone? Mm. Ooh, I got new boots. I like how he asks, he asked, he just asked me a really existential deep question. And all I say is, Ooh, I got new boots. <laughs> or I will get new boots. Uh, so this is a healing staff. Let's see what this does. Okay. Interesting, kind of. I started to venture into those ruins after you, but I lost my nerve when I got sight of those guardians. I hope you found something in there to make it worth your while. Uh, are you looking for loot again? Ha! I'd wager it'll be the first and last time you hear Grace O'Malley say this. But just now, 
I am on official business. Ooh. The night region sent me to track you down. She says we need your help figuring out what's going so on. So she's no longer a pirate. She's working for the night regent now. Nice. We got some new legs. Some new pants, Just I should say. Just after you left that wide-eyed minister Lochnir started acting strange. Of course he did. That the true heir's arrival was upon us. He let some knights and even some townsfolk down south to welcome the new king. Ooh, he's planning something bad. Uh oh. Oh shit! Wait. Yeah. See, there's no doubt about that. I tailed the bastard and his entourage. They marched straight into a crowd of the lost. The night region oh, has gone mad. She wants you to come help as soon as you're done here. I think I'm following. Hold on. I'm not gonna say anything yet. I think I might. I need to search the ruins of Antares first. But I suppose I'll be waiting for you. The night region told me not to return without you. Get on with whatever you're doing. And if you find any treasure in the ruins, don't forget your dear friend Grace. Okay. Ooh, I got new gloves. Nice. Or I will get new gloves. Okay. So, uh, that Lochnir dude has been saying that, um, the king is returning, or the true heir is returning at any time, right? But it sounds like he's doing something sketchy. And it sounds like it has to do the loss. So maybe... Maybe he is part of the reason why all these lost people are coming about. Maybe he's the reason all these zombie people are everywhere. Okay. What am I doing right now? Collect un... Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're getting the mirror. Okay. That's right. All right. Let's go back and talk to him. We'll return this one in really quick. You know, when this game first came out, I was under the impression it was like a... Um, an MMO that was... Um, Centered around like uh, Christopher Columbus and like and like the pi the the pilgrims and pioneers into the the western uh, continents and like I, I I thought that it was like uh, about like Christopher Columbus kind of a thing because like a lot of the trailers show people with muskets shooting turkeys. How wrong I was. Gracias, kind soul. Fatima always loved her mirrors. With this last fragment, she can have her final one. She said mirrors have a certain magic. I bit my them. lip. And I okay, can we're good. sense the energy in this. Almost a strange calling. Okay, complete the quest. I'm interested in this guy's quest line. Oh, that's it? I want to learn more. Gotta go, but I'll catch you next time. Take care. All right, have a good night, Cornball. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow with the uh, with the spinny wheel, having fun, seeing what happens. All right. Um. Hmm. This is worse defense. This is overall worse. It's light footwear, but I'll never get down to a light uh, weight rating. Thanks for the warning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to warn you. All right. Let's just go do this main quest then. Search for more evidence of Lochnir's deeds. Okay. We can do that. All right. Have I leveled up anything and I'm not noticing? Yes, I have. Why is my strength so high right now? I'm just guessing how to put these attribute points. I actually have no idea. We leveled up my blunderbuss. Net shot. Fire a large net out of the blunderbuss that deals 70% weapon damage and slows the target. Okay, that's all about slowing. That could actually be useful. Crowd control. 
Uh, Azoth, Shrapnel Blast, fire five shots in a horizontal fan in front of you while pushing yourself backwards. Each shot will deal 50%. Eh, I don't like that one as much. Shoot a grenade out of the blunderbuss that can bounce up to four times. The splitting grenade will detonate after 1.5 seconds, but can be detonated early by reactivating its ability key within this time period. Upon detonation, it will create three mini grenades that disperse and explode wounds. I like that. We're going with the grenade. Hell yeah. Hold on. We're trying this out. Uh, yeah, we're going to try this out. Hold on. I like that. Wait, where's the skill? Hold on. There we go. I didn't assign it. So I do Q. Oh, wait. No, that's actually kind of lame. I don't know if I like that. That's kind of lame. We'll, we'll have to test it out. It's on cooldown right now. Hold on. Maybe this is cool and I just don't understand. We need to find a skeleton. Iron cartridge. Got it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's test it. It didn't do shit. My regular shot does more damage than that. I think probably the net shot would have been better. Crowd control. I don't know, maybe it gets better. Maybe as I level it up, it'll get better. But goddamn, that was weak as fuck. Okay. I do like the blunderbuss. Nice. Oh, we leveled it up again. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Uh, deals 25% increased damage to targets greater than 50% health. That sounds really good. Uh, load the blunderbuss with heavy canisters for the next 15 seconds or three shots. Shots will no longer fire multiple pellets, but instead will fire a heavy, fast diving mortar style canister that deals a tall explosion. Upon impact, did 100% weapon damage in a 3 meter area. Alright, so essentially you're hitting. Uh, if the target is 10 meters away or further, they will take 35% increased damage from the mortar. That's interesting. Every pellet that is a headshot reduces all cooldowns. That's pretty good, actually. Using an ability reduces all your ability cooldowns by 4%. Uh, let's start with five. Uh, this one, actually. This one sounds the most interesting. Hmm. All right, let's keep moving towards this uh, quest. Oh, look at this. This must be something from the ancient civilization they were talking about. That worked pretty well. I actually liked that. Maybe I was being overly critical. Ooh, lore time. The King's Magician. <clears throat> the High King's Magician has knowledge of an incantation that gives him mastery over the strange power of this land. I have never witnessed such a thing. Could he have discovered the secrets of the ancients? How did he accomplish this so quickly? Uh, only a few words are known to me. It's ancient Celtic. It speaks of a serpent's breath and a twilight realm and a folk of light and shadow. I must learn the secrets of this charm. With its power, I could change our fortunes. Amaranth the Raven-Haired. Is now, when this note says the High King's Magician, is that talking about uh, Lorath or whatever his name is? Lo Lokrath? The guy we don't like. That might be who it's talking about, I would I would think. 
think we need to go this way. Hardcore parkour. Parkour parkour. Ooh. What happens if I just walk into it? That didn't hurt me that much. Actually, I might die. <laughs> I'm at a quarter of my health. Not even. I'm at like a a fifth of my health. That's like a fifth of my health. God damn. How do I heal? Will it come back over time? If I'm out of combat? Oh, wait a second. There's a way... Hold on. There's a way to equip... Uh, yeah, I need to equip these. Yep. Okay. So now I can use four... Take a health potion. Okay. All right. We're figuring it out. We're learning the game. All good in the neighborhood. Wire weave. What? I jumped. Oh, it's one of the tablets. This is what we found in the mine. Study runes. Normal person. I guess I shouldn't walk into the death laser. Gamer god. Eh, it's only 24% HP. I can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I watched the guy next to me, like, carefully dodging them. I'm like, well, it won't kill me. My health will come back eventually. Why waste the time trying to dodge when it won't kill you? Ooh, more lore. The call of the tablet. The legends are true. I just needed to replicate that the stone tablet. I had to bind and kill the poor young squire nearly a dozen times before he finally surrendered his soul. But after he fell, he was easy to control. He will walk to wherever this replica is placed. And this fear, a tiny thing with tremendous power. Having this power in the palm of my hand will be an immense boon to my objective. I will make myself a staff from it, a fitting accessory for the right hand of the true king. Ah, this is Lochnir. Lochnir's evil. I called it. He's evil. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm so goddamn smart. Nobody else saw it coming but me. Nobody else saw it coming. Okay. And we'll talk to you, Grace O'Malley. Well, you were gone long enough. I was starting to worry you'd fall into those guardians. Mm -hmm. Did you find anything else in there relating to the minister's plans? Uh, yeah, he's an evil dude who's, who's uh, killing people and harnessing that power to create a staff. And he's using these tablets. I think he's, yeah, he's controlling the lost. Hello. Damned if that doesn't explain a lot of the queer happenings around here. She said queer. I that's how he's able Cancel to her. Among those blue-eyed rotters as well. Mm. Just kidding. That was a joke. That was a bad joke. <laughs> that was a very bad joke. Um. Prowler's gloves. Light glove. I keep getting light armor, but I don't really want to use light armor. With that revelation, I'd say it's all the more urgent that you catch up with the Night Regent. Okay. She wants you to meet her at the last of the farms that hasn't fallen to the lost. It's not too far from here. Okay. She left the town unprotected. She left Sir Payne in charge of Pride Wind's defenses. She wanted to see to these troubles personally. I suspect the Night Regent's looking to draw steel against Lochnir herself. You best get going. Okay. Are you coming to? No, she's going to say no. Of course not. The Night Regent asked me to circle down to the pirate dens further south, see what's happening there. I'll catch up with you at the farm soon enough. Okay. Ooh. We'll get a new amulet. Uh, it increases my dexterity and constitution, two things I'm not really using. But that's fine. Um, 
Okay. Uh, what did I get from that? I think I leveled up, right? I leveled something up. Wasn't there something I leveled up? No, I guess not. Oh, here we go. Void Gauntlet. Yes, I did. Okay. <clears throat> Forsaken... Okay, let's see. Void Blade. Summon a blade of void energy that converts your basic attacks to melee. Oh. Tap basic attack to perform a quick slash that deals 90% weapon damage or hold to perform an arm thrust. Oh, shit. That's cool. Both attacks inflict disintegrate on successful hits, dealing 5% weapon damage per second and reducing targets armor by 10%. That's really strong. What the fuck? What's Decay do? Fire an unblockable orb that passes through enemies dealing 90%. Uh, inflicts disintegrate dealing 5% weapon damage per second. And it still reduces armor. At max range, it transforms into a healing orb and returns healing friendlies. So, hmm. I'm a melee character. But what's the point in having two melee weapons? I have my axe, so turning my void gauntlet into a blade seems kind of dumb. Seeing as I already have my axe, so the only really viable thing seems to be decay. Even though it doesn't sound as cool. Doesn't sound as cool, but we'll do it. Let's see. All right, let's test it out. Ooh, shit. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like this. All right, we're sticking with this for now. I'm in. I'm in. I'm sold. That looks really sweet. Shatter wall scavenger. Die, bitch. All right. Supply cash. Pure solvent. Alright, fuck yeah. Alright. We'll just run this way then. We got a new waypoint over here. Oh yeah, we need to keep looking for iron. I keep forgetting. We need to look for iron veins. What's up, Tea Times? How are you? Welcome. Alright. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's go to this waypoint. I don't know if I've unlocked this one yet. Probably a good idea to lock as, unlock as many as possible. Have I gotten this one? I don't think so. Just wondering if a quick question. What's up? Do you need DLCs in this game? Uh, they do have... Um, that's a good question. So the base game... I don't know how much the base game costs. Uh, I will say the expansion just came out. And the expansion is So, but it's the first paid expansion in two years. So essentially they've gone two years without charging anything more. Brief respite. We've had some luck to move farther north. We found fertile land and decided to rebuild. Nestled within the crags that surround it, we soon saw a small lake as a respite in our journey and replanted our crops. Scorching our tools, we found that fire cleansed them of the stench of the blight. We remain vigilant in how we use the soil, but we are unsure if those freaks with red eyes will find us here too. Mayhap, it is only a matter of time. F. Sneed. Okay, interesting. Can I kill the cow? I can kill the cow. I guess that makes sense because I can harvest it now. This is a harvesting game. Mm 
Nice. Nice. We're farmers. Fuck yeah. Get some bacon. Alright, let's keep going. What is this castle, actually? Let's explore this castle really quick. Keep grabbing some pork. Because why not? Mm, nothing really interesting in here, I guess. Oh, wait, here's a note. What would we do without Olaf? If you buy the biggest edition of the game, do you get the DLC? Yeah, you do. So if you buy, um, so for instance, I paid $45 and I got everything. I don't, that doesn't necessarily include future expansions, but it includes the current expansion. So $45 and I got everything in the game. Base game and expansion and all that. Uh, it's hard to come by trustworthy friends in a turnum. Someone who won't try to offer you as a sacrifice to the lost. Who won't try and wheedle an extra penny from you for a meal. Olaf is a good friend. He's steadfastly and honorably by my side, come hell or high water. When the two of us mount our defense together, the lost will, severely will be severely disadvantaged. With a lit fuse and a boom, we'll lay all of them to waste. Wait, gentle nudge, respite equals rest bit. Olaf. Wait, what do you, wait, I don't get it. Respite equals rest bit? When I hear Olaf, Olaf, I immediately think of Frozen. I feel, I kind of feel bad killing these cows. I'm not going to lie. Okay, here we go. Here's the night regent. I cannot express how reassuring it is to have your presence down here. As much respect as I've always had for Minister Lothmir. It is painfully clear that he's suddenly gone quite mad. Yes. I don't know if it was sudden. I think this was kind of planned for a while. Oh, yeah. He's been planning this for a while. <laughs> I literally said what my character is about to say. Is that what you discovered in the ruins? Was Lochner behind the strange tablet at the mine? The pirates, too. I am having trouble understanding what his ultimate goal is, or if he even has one. Oh, pronunciation is with a short I, not a long. So, rest pit. Oh, I never knew that. Really? It's not respite? Oh, you're right. It is respite. Oh, wow. I have been saying that wrong. I knew I knew that, actually. I just... Well, I can say I knew it. But I've always said respite. But it, you're right. It is respite. That sounds more correct in my head now that I say it. Huh. Thank you. Damn. Damn. That's one of those words I've said wrong my entire life. Holy shit. Respite. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Uh, could this be related to the true heir? Uh, I question everything the minister said now. But apparently the knights at Tiernan Keep met Sir Gawain. Priscilla here was a knight there herself until recently. I believe she's hiding something. We should speak to her. Wait, okay. Okay. <laughs> I really like this void gauntlet. I think it's really cool. Well met, stranger. The night regent said you have been her only. That is some red hair. Days. For your service to her and That's to like right blood you. red. I salute you. I was a knight myself not long ago. And now you're farming? Um, yes. When the farms in these parts started falling to the lost, the town's supplies were threatened. I volunteered to take over this farm to ensure Pridewind did not go hungry. <laughs> it was 
a difficult. I see. Okay. Oh, we finally get this amulet. That's not really gonna help me. Yeah, that's like a blood red hair color. I left Turnkey, but my fellow knights there fell to becoming lost as well. Oh shit. If I overheard correctly, you found proof that Lochnir planned all of this? Yes, he can he can control the lost. That explains much. <clears throat> I know the minister had planned to claim the circlet of sorts, the royal crown of Marduk's bluffs from Tirnod Keep. If he can control the lost knights there, I suppose that's how he'll do it. Okay, what's the royal crown? The royal crown of Monarch's bluffs from Tirnod Keep. It's called the circlet of swords. We should try and stop him. I suspect it's already too late. And my fellow knights still defend the keep as firmly as ever. Mm -hmm. I'd advise against going. There's nothing there but death and grief. But perhaps you may discover more of Lochnir's plan. So, okay, her fellow knights that she used to work with are now lost, and we have to go fight them. Okay, you should join me. No. I will not raise my blade against They're essentially my fellow zombies knights, now. Even in the state they're in. We'll give you this seal, however. You'll also need the seals of the other knights to access the sacred chamber inside the keep. Okay. Except, let's do it. She gave me this amulet. I don't think it's really going to help me. But we'll wear it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we had a quest over there. We had a quest over here. As royal ladies, we've always been protected. We led lavish lives in the Chosan court, and for a while, in Ebonscale Reach. It's the first time we're living out in the wilds, like common folk. We're trying to adapt. Excuse me? Did she just... Did she just call us common folk? You've always been royal? Yes. Once upon a time, I was even destined to be queen. Oh, really? I my betrothed to the sea. On our way to the island. Oh, so she was dating the prince. Hasn't given up hope I will be married one day. She fears the worst if I don't. What does your mother fear? <sighs> that I'll turn into a lost. Like the ones who haunt this So island. how does somebody the turn into a no lost? Purpose, but to haunt women with better prospects. Mother grew up with tales of the virgin ghost. It's hard to shake her out of her belief. I don't quite understand what turns somebody into a lost yet. Uh, we'll get new boots. Okay. Now, if we put these boots on, though, are we going to be... Oh, we don't have them yet. We got to we gotta beat her quest first. My bad. Seems like the right question. Yeah, I want to know how somebody becomes a lost. I'm not quite clear on that. Uh, what is this symbol? Hold on. Ah, we'll get this quest first. I love my Void Gauntlet. It's a really cool weapon. I really like it. Uh, Hamza Killick. Show me your smile. Ah, oh, your teeth are radiant. Do you use Miswalk to brush them? <laughs> In the Ottoman Empire... Everyone had good teeth. Really? Here, not so much. Here, people eat whatever they get. People had good teeth in the Ottoman Empire. That's interesting. How long have you been here? More days than a snail has teeth. I left to pursue my great ideas in my reckless youth. I still feel as reckless and almost as young. And if I can get enough wolf teeth, I'll finally be able to craft my invention. This guy seems a little nutty. How many wolf teeth do you need? I already have 26 pearly white wolf fangs. I need six more, just like them. Okay. They should be from robust middle-aged wolves. Warriors, if you can spot them. Could you get the teeth yep, for me? Yep, yep, yep. I'll be grateful. Ooh, I'll get a hatchet. I don't think I have a hatchet yet. All right. Yep, we'll do it. Let's go kill some wolves. 
Might as well. Mm -mm -mm. Monarchs both standing. Have I unlocked anything? Yes, I have. I have no idea my strategy for uh, putting out these points. I'm just kind of winging it. That didn't do any damage. I thought it was. I thought it'd do a ton more. Okay. I need to reread the skill. Yeah, I need to read that skill again to see what it actually does, because I think I misunderstood it. All right, where are these wolves? Here's one. Damn, I'm really not doing a ton of damage. Nope, not the right kind of wolf. We gotta keep moving. Or maybe it was. Maybe the drop is just rare. Nope, still no tooth. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Damn, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. All right, we're good. This guy saved me. I still don't. I still did not get any teeth, though. Of course. Okay, we got saltpeter. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard that word before in my life. Oh, here we go. Loot. Sharp canine. Okay. All right, we got one. Two. Okay, I'm I'm just missing the pickups. All right, we need them to respawn. I guess I can gather some resources while I wait. All right, where are these damn wolves? Come on. Let me go over here. See if there's anything over here. I hear something. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Don't kill him. Don't. Mm, damn it. Okay. We'll get this one. Come on. Die. Give me, give me a tooth. Yep, we got a tooth. Okay, good. All right, let's go turn it in. Uh, let's see. Yep. Leave me alone, wolf. Okay, I'm running away. I'm just gonna run away. I'm a coward. We're gonna go turn this in. I wonder how long he'll chase me. the turkey okay no oh okay we can grab that sure egg <laughs> you spotted the wolves well middle-aged strong aggressive fighters most likely oh these are the perfect fangs they're sparkly and they're white they can cut through meat. What is his invention? What are you inventing with them? Is it like dentures? The first of its kind dental weapon for the toothless elderly among us. Those who have the punch but lack the bite. Okay. One chomp from these pearly beauties will make an attacker regret their choice. Oh shit, they are dentures. Brilliant, no? All right, he gave me a hatchet. A 
Hey, can I dual wield hatchets? Because that would be cool. I don't think so. We're gonna stick with my axe. All right, uh, I think that might be a good place to end it tonight. Uh, like I said earlier, I will be back on tomorrow. We're gonna do the wheel tomorrow, back there. Uh, I'm gonna get it filled out. We're gonna have some fun tomorrow. We're gonna do D2 tomorrow, and then we'll play some more of this game after D2, hopefully, so. Um, yeah, but I think that might be a good place to stop for tonight. I, uh, I appreciate everybody hanging out. Um, it was fun. I hope you all have a good night. Peace.